Okay, this isn't normally how I start my videos, but I just got in one of the Fnatic beanies. That thing is sick. And then if you guys want a Fnatic drawstring bag, we've got those at thefnaticbrand.com. I just got them in. They're super sick. I wanted to show you guys. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Dang. That's a horny chameleon. <laughs> that was Chris's idea. <laughs> well, guys, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. How's it going? What's going on? Bro. Bro. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my god. You do not look okay, but I guess that's how you're supposed to be. That is a snake neck turtle. So that turtle is $200. Chris only has one turtle in his turtle tank, so I'm thinking about maybe taking my soft shell and musk turtle out and giving it to him and getting that snake neck turtle. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I kind of I kind of want to give you my turtles and get that snake neck. I'm super interested. Maybe there's a pink belly. Okay. That is a sick pink belly side neck. Oh. Mm, this thing is dope. Okay, don't stop watching the video yet because I'm actually gonna show you guys some absolutely crazy stuff. That's not it, but the, 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 the escape on this thing is cool. This is sick. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That is that is dope. If you're not a snake person, that's still kind of cool looking. Okay. Is that a Ferrari? Oh, no, that's a lizard. So these are the fogged tanks. I guess you could call them that. These are the moistured tanks. Uh, this is I find that super interesting. That's cool. A tortoise. Chris, let's get it, please. So got it. I love Soul Call. I should probably just call Blake, but those are so cool. Oh, oh they're so cute. Wow, this is kind of cool. Like, look at this enclosure. Like, grass growing out of the ground in here. Like, imagine having just little tortoises, run, like, running around in here. There's a blue iguana. Where? Oh, I found it. That's not very cool to put in here. We could put something way cooler than that in this. Where? Like an eastern box turtle. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, there's a whole other row of snakes. And, oh, a, t a s surprise, surprise, a snake. Another one. Another snake. Another s Wow. Wow. We seem to have found a thing. Oh! Oh wow, you're $700. Seven hundred. This guy back here. This is cool. This is a bumblebee dart frog. I used to actually eat dart frogs in Costa Rica. There's one right there. Oh, Kevin. This is Kevin. He is a sweetheart. Two months. He should be fine. He should be okay? Yeah. How long has he been here? I've been here. We opened up March 9th. I've been here since April. Are you down to make a bigger turtle tank in two months? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hey buddy. Okay, so basically we got this snake neck. It's a little bit more aggressive, so I'm taking my turtles out and putting it in Chris's tank. But they just worked out this deal with us. Will they will they work out? Well the snake neck's too big for the 20 gallon, so we're gonna have to build a 55 gallon at a minimum. So we're going to come back in about two months, build out a huge 55 gallon snake neck turtle enclosure. Yeah. And um yeah. Be good to go. So in the meantime, they this guy's literally been in there for oh since bro. June. Since June. This turtle's been in there since June and that tank has less water than my 20 gallons. So they were like, yeah, it's perfectly fine to put them in there for the next two months so we can get this whole tank orchestrated and the designs because we want to put like Fnatic made out of wood in there. Like some crazy stuff. Well, the uh, the lady said it's, its neck looked like a piece of beef jerky. I haven't heard that one before, so that is interesting. It's Maybe not a bit- she was referencing how it tasted. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But no, this thing, how big do you think this is? Like two quarters maybe? Like the size of maybe two quarters? It's, yeah, it's I mean, not with, it, with its neck fully extended, it's like three feet. But the size of like a... My hand is my hand is much bigger than this little guy, so. It's like the size of one of those little oranges, those like little... The little, the little tiny, oranges. yeah. Hi. Hey, kiddo. You're gonna eat all my fish. But for the meantime, we're gonna hold this guy and we're gonna kind of orchestrate something to make this dope 55 gallon tank. Pick up! So, we gotta take my turtles out and put them into Chris's tank. So that's a musk turtle and a soft shell turtle. Good to go. Three days later. This is our snake neck turtle. This thing is, I don't even know how to describe it. Here's a picture on the screen. It's a uh, really, 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 it's got a really long neck. Just say that. Oh yeah, he'll, yeah he's gonna bite me. All right. Get <laughs> naturally good. <laughs> <laughs> so we took the other turtles out. Chris is taking them to his house, but this guy's got plenty of space. I was actually gonna move like branches and stuff like that out of here so he would have more space. And then I really looked at how tiny he was and I was like, yeah, no, he's fine. <laughs> so no, this is gonna be sick. I've never had a turtle like this. And he was he was fairly expensive, about two hundred dollars. So let's uh You ready, muchacho? And he's dead. All right. That is that is all we needed. Uh, yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. I lost him. I don't know where he is at. Oh, found his face. Um. Um. You guys see that little little face back there? Oh, there it is. He is. He's chilling. Oh, I can kind of see him from this angle. He's just right back up in there. Oh my God. He looks so weird. Ugliest turtle I've ever seen. But 
Just because he's ugly doesn't mean it doesn't deserve a home. Maybe it does. Just kidding. But now there he is, just chilling on that rock. He's got a lot of space in here. It's the same amount of water as that other tank. That other tank, it was about the same amount of water. But he, you know, he's he's kind of figuring out his way of chilling around. I was Like I said, I was going to take, I think I was going to take this out right here to free up some room for him. But now that I looked at him, he's actually super, super tiny. So I don't think I'm going to. I may just take out like that rock or something so he can have a little bit of easier time getting through some places. And then I have some slate back there I might want to take out because there's, it literally serves no purpose. You can't even see it. So I think... I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'll grab that. 12 seconds later. Oh, it's dirty in here. As you guys can tell, I just did a water change. I sucked a lot of like this stuff out. Obviously, I didn't suck it out right there because I can't get back here. But it's just pieces of the wood that have kind of fallen off, which isn't bad. Everything in this tank is so healthy. I haven't even lost like a tetra in this tank, which for a lot of people is common in turtle tanks to lose little fish. Like everything is doing absolutely fantastic. All four of my tetras are down there. We got the Cory catfish. We've got everything. And then our snake neck. You guys can see he is right back there. I took some of the rock out there took some of the rock out over here and then I moved these two pieces of bamboo so we couldn't get stuck in them but that is the turtle tank basically it looks the same but now we got a snake neck turtle is it cool um yes because actually probably around a year ago close to a year ago I was in Galveston Texas and I saw one of these guys and I was like oh my god this thing is insane it was really really big look at that snake neck turtle wow and now, never did I think I was gonna own one. Now I just bought one for 200 bucks. And it's kinda cool. It's super ugly. Don't get me wrong. One of the ugliest things I've ever owned. But it's unique. And that's what I like about it. Just like I have goats. Kind of unique, you know? You feel? You get me? Yeah. But on the other hand, I did a water change on the puffer tank yesterday. Puffer is, look at him, he's vibing. He's so happy. But no, I did a water change on that. As you can see, I did a water change on this tank and it shows. It sh doesn't have any tannins, it's just super clear. And our beta is right back there. You can see his head right there. It's super Super, super pretty beta fish. Water change on this. I did a water change on everything. I did like a 35% on here, 20% on here, a 50% on here, but there's so much beneficial bacteria. It didn't really matter. A 50% on here, but there's also, again, so much beneficial bacteria. And then I just did probably about a 50% on here. And everything is, everything's doing great. You see me? You see? Me? Hey, Danger by Fanatic Media, the fanaticbrand.com. You should, yeah, ah, go get some. Top link in the description. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 I've had enough, I've had enough. <gasps> Come here, Steven, post a, oh my goodness, you're vicious, you're vicious. Yeah, you know, now you want to be scratched, yeah, I know. That's my big guy right there, it's my big guy right there. Oh, Steven, jeez. We gotta bring out the net, not for you, for the ducks. Come on, duckies. Come on, guys. Wrong way, wrong way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you know better. Okay, there you go. You'll have been out all day. It's okay, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. All day long you've been out. You need a little bit of time to lay down, just chill. Can't keep putting the ducks in the pond. They literally make it so dirty and I don't even know how. Like, I don't understand how. It's insane. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab this. Um. Okay, threw that over. I don't know what's about to happen, but we're gonna find out all the way, all the way on, okay. What the heck is happening? Get away from me! Oh, that happens. What are you... I'll never understand those two. Look! It says Fanatic! On a beanie! <laughs> Okay, the idea is we're filling up the duck pond right now, but for some odd reason, the water just stopped coming out. <laughs> okay, now for some odd reason, it just started coming out. Okay, that's weird. And you're out again. No, 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 no. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. We're gonna work as a team to not go that direction. That's the pond. Y'all are super cute, and I love you a lot, but sometimes, y'all, there you go. It's really cute walk watching them walk over that little step right there. It's adorable. All right, we're filling it up. Well, there is some stuff in the water, but it's okay, right? Every time. I'm just gonna pick some of this out so it can dry off because we really don't need Timothy hay inside the pond. And now the ducks can kind of get in there when they. Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand. Steven, move, move out of the way. Steven's like trying to play with me, and I'm trying to play with her, and she's running away. And she's running away from me. Wow, that worked. Well guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow is the very last day to get the limited edition Fanatic shirts. Quite a few of you have ordered them. They will never be launched again in the history of time. It's the Rest in Peace Penelope shirt and the Fanatic Verified shirt. They're on the limited edition section within the Fanatic brand site. You'll never be able to get them again. Tomorrow is the last day. But like I said, we have the drawstring now. We have some beanies. They're so nice. I got them in. I freaking love them. But all the animals are doing great. We got a snake neck turtle, which is crazy. Love the thing though. But with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you got to join my channel, follow all of my social medias down below. TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, 
all of it, follow it. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to click that like button. Click the notification bell to get notifications whenever I upload a video. And with that being said, I will catch you next time on that next episode of Fanatic. Peace.